I am at the Conrad in Bengaluru and the menu today is very simple. Soup and salad. But you are watching Food for Thought, so this is my soup and that is my salad. I know, I'm also very confused. Chef, take me through it. These are basically apple and uh, aragula shorts. Hmm. These are just pebbles, right? Just pebbles. This is not edible? No. Okay, and this is the soup? Soup, yes. Now you said aragula is rocket leaf? Yes. And apples of course, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And uh, rocket leaf is very healthy on its own. So, so this is soup. So the step by step procedure is like, uh, we have a juice of apple hmm. and aragula mixed together. And then we add zantan. Zantan is basically a uh, powder hmm. to add thickening to the soup hmm. and then we freeze it. Hmm. We put it in small balls and freeze it in the deep freezer and then we take it out hmm. and make small cube balls of it. Hmm. And then we coat it with uh, butter hmm. and white chocolate. Hmm. So we use cocoa butter and white chocolate and once because the ice is frozen, because juice is frozen, hmm. immediately butter sticks to the ball hmm. and then you put it in the, in the fridge again. Hmm. So once you take it out and you plate it and you hmm. gulp it in the mouth, you'll find it water inside because the ice is melted. Now we move on to what the flawless is macaroon. Oh, my macaroon. salad for today. You know, macaroons are normally French dessert. Yes. Made out of all things sugar, sugar and sweet and yes. fattening. Um, Almond powder and all. And this has no flour. This has no flour at all. Yeah. So the procedure to make the macaroon is that uh, what we do, we make beetroot juice and we add some plant cellular in that, hmm. which thickens the food. Hmm. So you put it in the beetroot juice, you blend it out and then you rest it for 4 to 5 hours. Mm. After you rest for 4 to 5 hours, mm. then you take it out mm. and you add some gelatin in it. Mm. That is a wet gelatin. We add gelatin sheets to it, which mm. is gelatin gelatin. And which gelatin gives it that elasticity. Elasticity and thickening mm. to it and it makes it stable. Mm. And after you add gelatin to it, put in a planetary mixer mm. and you whip it out. Mm. Once you whip it, you will get a very whipping consistency. Mm. You pipe it out in a tray with a silicone sheet mm. and a silk pad and mm. you put in the oven. Just for two hours, mm. at very soft, very less temperature, maybe 40 degrees for two hours, mm. and then you'll have the crust on top. Mm. And then you fill it with goat cheese mm. and some thyme and some seasoning to it. Now why beetroot? Can this be done with some other vegetable? We can do it with any vegetable puree. Mm. So you can use cauliflower puree, you can use mushroom puree, you can mm. use a beetroot. Mm. It's, it's your choice. I'm glad but, you did beetroot yes. because uh, just so you know, beetroots are very high in folic acid, so very good for the hair. And also the goat cheese we use is more local. Uh -huh. So we source all the goat cheese from Kodai Canal. Mm. So we have uh, families there who make cheeses, homemade cheeses. Mm. So they have, uh, this goat cheese is specially made for us. So this is in the menu? It's a part of a brunch menu. Okay. And is it priced at a normal price or is there some exorbitant price because of the, you know, work that's going behind it. You no, know, the brunch includes all these uh, fine dine items so that mm. the guests have an experience of a kind. Are the guests liking it? Certainly. What like do it. they uh, say when they have it? They're surprised. I will try it. Bon appetit. The good thing is about these um, small foods is that you can eat a lot and still feel really healthy. Yes. As soon as I put it in, before you even bite it, it bursts and it's cold and it's fresh because you know the bitterness or the um, peppery taste of the aragula mixed with the freshness of the apple just kind of bursts in your mouth and suddenly it's gone. So like I said, the good thing is you can have many of them and still feel very healthy. Now comes my salad. That was interesting. Um, it's very crunchy, as normal uh, macaroons are. But the mind is trained to expect something sweet, but it's definitely not sweet, very savory. And the nice part is that the earthiness of the beetroots, and beetroots are slightly earthy in nature, the earthiness of the beetroot balances very well with the cream cheese. Now, I leave you with a question. Beetroot macaroon, beat that. Think about it and I will see you next time.